When I got this house, I wanted the house to be like a sculpture, but also like my home. So I wanted the house to reflect my thinking and also my work. The idea of this place is a place of meeting, of creativity, of growth. My name is Clarina Wetzola. I'm from Switzerland. Now I live in Brooklyn. I'm a visual artist. This is my living room, kitchen and dining area. Upstairs I sleep on the third floor. I use this as my painting studio. This is my office. Next door is my studio. I call this kind of the rough work area. Here I do like all the work that is very messy. Having this place with my studio right next to it is like a, a, an absolute dream for me because I make something and I need to live with it for a while in order to understand what it even is. This piece is really about consciousness and it's about human coming out of the universe into the world. When I created this piece, I was thinking about how we're all obsessed about cell phones. But what people are really looking for is they're looking for a reflection of themselves. I'm someone with a very vivid inner life. When I was a, a young artist, I felt very afraid of sharing that with the, the world you know in a way I I didn't know if that voice or creature inside of me is something very frail that needs to be protected or if this creature or voice inside of me is very dangerous and if I let it out it could devour the whole world. I talk about our struggle with feeling vulnerable. Some people look at this and they just think it's a horror show. This piece is really about life, the circle of life, just to embrace it and to acknowledge that the body is in a constant cycle of growth and decay. You know, life is constantly going in and out of balance, comfort and discomfort, anxiety and bliss. I used to be very afraid of it, but now I'm kind of having fun with it. <coughs> I find that you can't ever really ignore or disregard the things that make you afraid. To relax 100%, you have to be aware of the presence of danger. I found when I create the space for myself, I need to acknowledge what gives me fear. You know, we live in a world of straight lines. This space is round. The wall is growing. I separated from my ex-husband and then I got this house. After 20 years in a relationship of having to adapt and scale myself back, I just wanted to have a space where I just can be whatever I am. I don't have to constantly make myself different or small. For me, this is like a temple, this house. 